What's the crack lads? Welcome back into another video where we're taking a look at a training guide. Today we are taking a look at Sergio Ramos. We have already done Shua Mene and we are going to be covering who we've already bought here, Fernandez. We're going to be showing you a couple of clips with him as well. But for these, they're just very, very short videos, just getting straight to the point. A lot of people ask for these. They're three to four minutes long. They're detailed breakdown of every stat, skill, why you should sign these players, whether I recommend them or not, and the most effective training guide with V2.4 gameplay in mind. So a lot of research goes into this and a lot of players, obviously I have signed these on different profiles and stuff to test them out. But it's obvious that when you play with certain players and you have the playing styles, the stats and the mix of his height, his weight, his player skills and the stats, you get a view of these cards, you get a feeling of these cards, right? So we already covered two Shuamene in the first one. Next up is Sergio Ramos. Sergio? Sergio Ramos. Um, so yeah, first up lads, the thing about him is he does have unwavering form, he does have a B rating, but he's extremely slow. So that's the first thing you need to understand when you are playing with this guy here. Obviously, as Sergio Ramos, you know what you're going to be getting with him. is going to be maxed out aggression, maxed out tackling as best as you possibly can. Now, with the V2.4 gameplay, right, we do have a look at his player skills here. He doesn't have blocker, but he does have fighting spirit, man marking, interception, weight, uh, weighted pass, and heading. So he's a nice mix of on-the-ball skills, being able to pass the ball, trap the ball with that type possession, and also the defensive stats are very, very high from the base. He does also have 25 levels to go, right? So when we're going to be maxing him out, we are going to be pretty much ignoring his speed, and anything like that, and maxing out the best version of him, right? So, this is how I would train him. We're going to do it in real time. Pass and dribbling, we'll leave all that for now. The most important thing here for Ramos is to get that defensive up as best as we possibly can. Now, I would be tempted to go to 90 with awareness to bring them up to 90, 95, 95, and 85 for the four defensive stats, and leave it at that. Now, we could max it out and go 99 and, you know, the rest of them, but I genuinely think going to... Um, 90 with defensive awareness is more than enough with the player skills and the rest of his stats that you have. The big downfall for this card is going to be his acceleration, but you have to play him in a very specific way. They have changed acceleration at the moment with the defenders that it doesn't really matter if you're coming up against Mbappe or Neymar, they're not going to leave you, you know, for dead. So you don't need to worry too much about acceleration, especially for defensive minded players. DMF maybe, but for Sergio Ramos here, we're not going to focus on his speed or acceleration. All we're going to do is boost up his stamina to 70 and whatever the speed and acceleration is after that. And then because our defensive awareness is so high, all we're going to do is boost up the dexterity one to give 60 acceleration and also 73 balance, right? The rest of the stats, you can kind of do what you want, right? I would be tempted to go 90 with the header. And then I would be also tempted as well, if you are depending on how you're going to, how you're going to be training him up, I would obviously want to get his passing and dribbling up a fraction. Now, you can play out from the back with this guy. He is a bit of a baller, so I would probably put three into dribbling, four into dribbling, and then I would probably put one more into defending, and then I put the rest into passing. And I think you've got a very beastly center back there that can carry the ball out from the back, that can play a bit of football, 96 tackling and aggression, 91 defensive awareness, 90 header, and 88 jump. On the flip side, if you don't really want to focus on the passing and you just want to get rid of the ball every time you get it, you can actually boost up the jump a little bit more here and that brings it up to a 90. Or also, if you want to do that, you can do the same thing with the lower body. Just bring the stamina up to 72 and then we can get rid of the dribbling completely and bring one more to get the speed up to 70. So there's multiple ways of training him. Either or any of all of these don't really matter that much once you have 13 into defending. That's the magic number for defending, in my personal opinion, and once you've got 5 into aerial strength. The rest you can mess around with yourself. If you're only planning on playing him half a match, you don't really need to worry about speed or stamina. You could actually, you know, focus on the rest here if you wanted to do that to get it up to 98, 98. I never max out the stats to 99 because that leaves no room for um, getting free stat upgrades with the player arrow. So that's just a tip if you're looking at that. If we leave him at this stat, we're potentially going to have 99, 99 and 90 here with 95 there when we do get the actual aggression doesn't go up but you know what I mean when we get the player arrow boost so that is it for Sergio Ramos lads a very interesting player as well for the free pack and let me know what you guys think if you spun him or you're going to skip him I definitely think he's a B center back there are really good GP standard cards as well that compare so don't maybe waste your five star on him but that is the training guide for Sergio Ramos under five minutes peace